I got a disturbed story. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> um, we were <laughs> we were playing a festival in Sweden. Okay. And, and uh, this is a really long time ago, like kind of when we first started going over to Europe. Me and Ryan. So we're talking like two thousand three ish, two thousand four. Uh, probably like in the later of the like 2008 maybe maybe i don't know it's all four. okay um and <laughs> it had to be like 2009 because we just toured with children of Bodom. okay and and then we went over to europe and they were there and, and they they were playing this festival and Le- lexi like me and that dude would would we both like to hit it hard back then <laughs> like like he, he we both liked our whiskey and uh hadn't i hadn't seen him since the tour we did or talked to him anyway he like grabs me and he's like come sit with me man let's fucking let's share have a drink you know i mean and just sit there and like house this fucking bottle of i, I don't even know it was i know it was whiskey i'm not really sure what it was but and that's that guy was little but he could fucking drink man and uh so <laughs> To preface this, me and Ryan Waste have this band that we only played twice. We only play the Super Bowl halftime at at our local bar, whichever okay. one you think. It's called Jock Jams with a Z, and we do new metal songs. <laughs> and it was and it was me and him and Ryan Parrish that played in Darkest Hour and was eventually in Iron Reagan. And we would do Godsmack, Disturbed. We anyway, we'd do all those songs. Okay, we would we would wear fake dreads and and hats sideways and makeup and it was a thing. Anyway, so we <laughs> so I, I'm chilling with Lexi, and they're like, "All right, fuck, I gotta go. I gotta go find my bandmates." And I'm walking by the main stage, and I see Phil, and he's like talking to like the Trivium dudes or somebody. And, uh, you know, I get to find my bandmates and I'm standing by the main stage, like just talking and disturb kicks into the fucking, the monkey song or whatever the fuck it's called. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Down with the sickness. <laughs> I I guess, you know, that shit. And I'm yeah. stoked, you know, I'm, I'm feeling pretty good at this point And I'm, I hear that shit kick in and I'm like, oh shit. So I fucking get, get all, I climb up on the stage, like up this tall stairwell or not, not tall but like steep and i get get up it and i run over the stage right and they kick into that part and i'm like doing my rap my rappy rapping bass metal <laughs> dance i like to call it and i'm fucking feeling it and the security i don't even know who it was probably probably a guitar tech or something they these two dudes like fold me up and they're grabbing me and they like fucking throw me down the stairs and then they look, they look, and they like see that I have an artist pass on me, and they're like, oh, they're like, oh fuck, like, whoa, who are you, man? Who are you? And I go, I'm in fucking Slipknot, dude. You just fucked up. <laughs> that was like the first thing that came to my head because I was like, you know, they wear masks, so they wouldn't even know. I was like, you just fucked up, man. <laughs> and I walked off real fast. <laughs> And uh, I don't know, if, I, I don't know if that ever got back to anybody, but it was that was a that was a fun that was a fun day for sure. R.I.P. Lexi too. 